Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Budget Gold Paladin deck profile for standard format, December 2018. This is going to be a new line of series that I'll start, and if they go off well enough, I'll do more of these for a bunch of different decks in standard format. The point of these uh, deck profiles are just so you can build a uh, standard deck out of a bunch of different cards for different sets, and just be under budget for a uh, very uh, cheap cost if you're looking to build a deck for a specific clan we don't have that much money to spend on the deck but you still want a playable version of the deck and that you can build for a very well reasonable price so I decided to start off with the gold paladin deck since it was still fresh in my mind and just cards you can build using uh, from the set that can still make the deck playable and I'm sure a lot of fun events uh, local events and you can add on to the deck if you maybe get more cards later on down the line for these uh, clans just adding on and taking out different ones when you get them so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the grade threes, I run four Battlefield Storm Sagramore. We well, want to say one of your main grade threes that you'll run in the deck. It's a Vanguard or Rearguard effect when placed from hand. You Soul Blast one, draw a card, and call a card from your hand to rear. So being able to make use of the call effect can help with a lot of different abilities. And when they're called by a card effect, gaining uh, different abilities. And the draw just helps with consistency if you have a card already that you plan to call from hand to rear, or if you just need one because if you have no cards in your hand obviously you won't be able to use the effect so the draw just helps for that consistency for calling to rear to make use of and Sagramore also has the imaginary gift excel marker meaning that you'll gain the extra rear guard circle as well when you place him on vanguard and the fact that you can also use him on rear means that if you open up two uh, Sagramore you can call one to rear and then use the effect right over again as long as you have the soul to make use of. I also run two white hair in the moon shadow Pelinor. Uh, from your hand at the beginning of the battle that your rear guard attack hits a grade three or greater vanguard. You counter blast one, soul blast three, ride this card as stand, and this unit gets drive minus one until the end of the turn. So a great pressure effect for sure for your rear guard attacks to hit, and you can hit big, big numbers with your excel circles. And at the end of the battle that your rear guard attack hit a vanguard, you can counter blast one and return that attacked uh, unit that attack to your hand. It's a vanguard effect for Pelinor. So so you can also just make use of it having complete rear guard pressure each time, meaning that you'll have rear guards to either reuse from your hand or just, you know, to protect from your opponent's effects with this card. If you want to mix and match Pelinor with some of the other grade threes in the deck, uh, you can do that as well. Number wise, um, one of the ones that you can maybe uh, go for is Max Slash Dragon. This is the common gold paladin card we got in the pack when its attack hits on vanguard or rear. You counter less one, call a card from your hand to rear, and this unit gets plus 5,000 until the end of that battle. So when it attacks, it's not when an attack hits, but it's an option because it's a common grade 3. It doesn't have the Excel marker, just remember that. So if you wanted to go for a more full Excel marker deck, maybe you can add in two more Pelinor if you didn't want to run Max Slash. But you have this card available to you, just easier to get from the booster pack. It has a rear guard effect and vanguard effect for the counter blast pressure. Um, just pay in mind, like I said, uh, goes against the gift marker since it doesn't have it, but works very well on rear guard as well with your other backup main grade threes. And that is it for the grade 3s. We'll now move on to the grade 2s. I run 4, Lop Ear Shooter. From your hand at the end of the battle that your grade 2 or greater Vanguard attacked, you counter blast 1, call this card uh, to rear, and this unit gets plus 5,000 to the end of the turn. Works very, very well with Pelinor for the bounce effect, just being able to reuse it from the hand. If your rear guard attack hits and you already have Pelinor on your Vanguard, then when your grade 2 or greater Vanguard attack at the end of that battle, you can just reuse and call this card for a counter. Blast, but you don't really use your counter blast for too too much in this deck so having this option available to you is very helpful for sure and I also run four Knight of Heroism Tornus. It's a if your soul has one card, this unit gets plus three thousand. If your soul has zero cards, it gets plus eight thousand. And you soul blast a good amount uh, with this deck, just being with uh, Sagramore and Pelinor with their soul blast one and soul blast three effects respectively. So you can make full use of the plus eight off of this card for sure on rear guard, hitting for bigger numbers. And then on your Excel marker, it's just all the more better since you'll have just that added pressure to use with the plus 8,000, meaning 27,000 in total when it attacks. 
And I also run three Sacred Guardian Beasts, uh, Nemean Lion. It's a Vanguard, Rearguard, and Guard Circle effect. When placed from hand, this unit gets plus uh, 3,000 uh, or 5,000 shield until the end of the turn. So you have pressure on Vanguard for a 12k hit, or even better, for a 10k shield when it is placed from the hand. Just remember that. So when it intercepts, it won't get the plus 5,000 shield from the rear. So another good reason you may just want to keep this card in hand if you know you're going to need some guards later on during the game. And I also run four Evil Slaying Swordsman Helgen. This one is when your Vanguard attack hits on Vanguard or rear. Look at the top card of your deck. You may call a card with a grade less than or equal to your Vanguard from among them to one of your other rear guards. And if you called a retire a Evil Slaying Swordsman Helgen on your rear guard. So if it works on the Vanguard, it's very beneficial. But on rear guard using this effect, just remember you'll have to retire a rear guard, obviously named Haugen. So uh, bear that in mind, depending on where you use this card's effect. And I also run four Listener of Truth Dindrain. This one just helps for one place by your card's ability. You Soul Blast one and draw a card or counter charge one and this unit gets plus 3,000 to the end of the turn. One of the main ones you'll call off of your uh, card effects for added abilities, whether it be the draw or the counter charge, but when you call it off of Sagramore or even off of your uh, guard slash uh, dragon, you'll have the option available to you to get this card's effect off. So very, very helpful in the deck when you can make use of it. And I also run four Clad Crest Lion. The Halo Shield Mark isn't too, too expensive, but you just have a more budget option available to you with Clad Crest Dragon as a generic perfect guard grade one, keeping your trigger line option open for other different cards as well. And lastly, for the grade ones, I run two Knight of Elegant Skills, Gareth, just another place effect for plus 10,000 with the use of a counterblast for more pressured attack units. Drop this one down to two since I just like Dindrain more in the budget version since you're not really relying on Blonde Ezel for his superior call, so you don't need Gareth as much as you do some of the other cards just for consistency with drawing in this deck. And for the grade zeros, for your starter, we use Crimson Lion Cub Kirf still, since it's the generic standard uh, starter for the draw effect when wrote upon, so definitely need to run this in the deck. And for the trigger lineup, I decided to go with four critical, just for pressure with your Vanguard overall still, but I also decided to change it up to six front triggers, so I run four Dantigal and two Knight of Forceful Fight uh, Nouns, I think his name, I think that is an L, I believe, yes. So six front trigger, just more added pressure since you don't have too, too many uh, Vanguard effects. Otherwise, you have the Superior Ride with Pelinor and you have the Call effect with Sagamore. But what can really lead to pressure with this deck after that is just a front trigger boosting up all of your uh, units on the field. So definitely helpful to run this at six. I also run two draw triggers just for the added um, bonus of draw hand consistency. It definitely does help for sure. And also for heal trigger just to finish off the trigger lineup. Definitely got to run heals in any uh, deck you're playing for standard. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Also, let me know what you thought of the uh, budget deck profile idea for the channel. Like I said before, if enough of you like it, I'll definitely make more of them for different clans, for sure. And I'll also take recommendations for ones you may like to see. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.